Hello everyone, welcome to Codus Camp. We are at 15th day of July League Code Challenge and the problem we are going to cover in this video is valid triangle number. So the input given here is an integer array num and we have to return uh, the valid triplets of triangles we can form from this set. So let's understand this with an example. So here is the given example. So we have to pick three numbers or triplets from the given integer array to form a triangle. So now if you ch check, we have a 2, 3, 4. So each side can be having a unique length or uh, both sides can be equal and other sides can be different or all three sides can be different. So first set is going to be 2, 3 and 4. And the second set is picking the second 2 uh, from the index 1. So again that is going to be 2, 3, 4. Or picking first two twos and then 3. These are the 3 uh, triplets that we can pick for the output. There can be one more chance of combination that is 2, 2, 4 but this cannot be forming a triangle because there is a property says that A plus B is greater than C which is nothing but any 2 sides of the given triangle or the length of the triangle must be addition of the, both the sides must be greater than the third side. It can be any side, but adding any two sides must be greater than the third side. So in this case, if you add 2 plus 2, it is 4, which is equal to the third side, but is not greater than third side. So this cannot be coordinates of a triangle. So by using this property, we have to approach this problem and get our solution. So if you are trying to approach via brute force then we can have three for loops where i j and k form three pointers and we iterate every possible triplets in the given integer array and check whether any two sides sum is greater than the other side if that satisfies then we can have a counter so it iterates every time it finds a new triplet and that is going to be our output but this is going to take big o of n cube time complexity so how are we going to approach this in an optimal way. So now we are going to approach this problem which is very similar to three sum problem where we have to find the triplets whose sum is equal to some value. But here we are going to iterate three triplets and find whether summation of two is greater than the third side. So to do that we are going to first sort the given array. So let us take this example for this problem. I am going to have my pointer i at the very starting position and my pointer k at the ending position and my pointer j is going to be one pointer before k. So what we are going to do is we are going to check whether if i plus j is greater than k. So in this case 2 plus 5 is obviously greater than 6. So we could consider this as one triplet. But here we are going to have our counter as the difference between j and i that is how many numbers are there between j and i which is 1 2 3 4 5 so we can possibly form five combination of triplets between by keeping uh, j as 5 and k as 6 why because we are going to check the condition whether the value of i plus value of j is greater than k so in this case if i is at very least position as the array is already sorted and 5 it has some fixed position in that case if we can add the value at i and value at j and that is greater than k which means if we iterate i to the next positions whatever i moves towards j it is going to increase the sum and definitely not going to decrease the sum so in that case whenever you add the value at i and j it is going to be greater than k for sure. So you can actually form by keeping 2, 5, 6, 3, 5, 6 and 4, 5, 6 as triplets. As you increase i, the value is also going to increase to this sum. So that is the basic logic we are going to approach. Once we count all the possible triplets between i and j, we are going to increment i. If suppose it did not form a greater value then we are going to increment j or decrement j and k accordingly to fix our window size and calculate the possible triplets between the range. So this is the overall logic of the problem you are going to get it when we are going to code it and this is going to work in big O of n square complexity which is better than the brute force approach. 
So yes, let's go to the code now. So as I said, let us declare a variable count, which is what we are going to return as our output. And I'm first going to sort my given array. So once it is sorted, I'm going to assign my three pointers, i, j, and k. So as I said, my k is going to be the highest number. So we are going to put our k to the last number in the array. So here we are fixing the size must be greater than 2 because we are looking for triplets. So there must be two elements before pointer k. And my i is going to start with the very first number and my j is going to start one pointer before k. So I'm going to iterate till my i is meeting with my j pointer. And I'm going to check if my value at pointer i and value at pointer j is greater than value at pointer k. If that matches, then we are going to find our count. And once we find the count by fixing j at that point, we are going to decrement j. If not, if this condition is not satisfied, which means the value is less than n of k. So in that case, we have to pull our pointer towards the higher value. So since i is at the lower value, we are going to move our i next to the higher value. So once this loop completes, our count will be updated with all possible triplets that forms a triangle. So yes, this is it. Let's run and try. So yes, let's submit. So yes, our solution is accepted and runs in 32 milliseconds. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe and let me know in comments. Thank you.